It was a sunny day in 1912 when Rose and myself opened our store. And within a couple of years, our child would be born. By 1924, we started selling tea and cakes. And little Delphine, there she is, I just turned eight. But she preferred ice cream, so a glacier the store became. And along with it came Noah, Noah, who was a bit of a brat, but who soon discovered music, and that was that. The 50s flew by, and the 60s swung through. By the time the 70s came, Noah had found his groove. From rock to disco, he had it all. But when he first met Yasmin, well, let's just say he dropped the ball. Good for him, he had her at hello. This leads to that, and along came Paul, who was great at pinball, but not so great at math. You see, he was more of a space invader, an 8-bit electric surfer. So it was only natural he start the arcade, until he watched a certain movie, and that business decided to terminate. <laughs> From horror to comedy, customers flooded in, until one day Yasmin found a strange website. And for the first time, Now, you'd think this would be the end of the line. But the thing is, our story isn't a line. It's a circle. Come on, Paul. Let's give this another try. <laughs> <laughs>